Otto Top Bill and his best friend Corby up on the hill. Let's watch them as they play. of Bottle Top Bill and his best friend Corky. Bottle Top Bill. Is it time for an adventure, Bill? It sure is, Corky, and it's called the Fairyland Flower. Fairyland gets more beautiful every time we come to visit Dandy the Fairy. It sure does, Bill. Hello, Dandy. Are you home, Dandy? I don't think she is home, Corky. That's a pity. I wanted to ask her about a new flower I've seen. What new flower is that? The one shaped like a musical instrument. Do you mean a drum? Not a drum, Bill. A flute? Not a flute either, Bill. I know what it is. A tuba. Exactly, Bill. Isn't it a beauty? And you're right, Corky. It looks exactly like a tuba that you blow in to make music. Bill! Corky! Hey, Bill. Hi, Corky! Hello, Tricky. What brings you to Fairyland? We were just admiring this flower shaped like a tuba. That's my favourite flower. It's called a tuba rose. Why don't you take one home? Can we? That would be fantastic. I don't know, Corky. Things that live in Fairyland should stay in Fairyland. <laughs> it's only a little flower, Bill. What harm could it do? That's right, Tricky. Can we take just one home? Please, Bill? Oh, all right then. But just one. Thanks, Bill. It'll look terrific in our garden. I hope you're right, Corky. There's one part of our garden which will be just right. I see the spot now, Corky. Don't make the hole too big. I won't. Place it in gently. Gently it is. Oh, what do you think, Bill? It couldn't be more perfect. Thanks. I think so too. Bill, did you see that? I did, Corky. A second tuber rose. And a third. And a fourth. And a fifth. Tuba roses everywhere, Corky. All over the garden. I don't understand it. Why is this happening? I told you, Corky. It's from Fairyland. Fairyland flowers are different to normal flowers. I didn't know they were that different. It's not like they're ugly flowers, though. Actually, I think they look quite nice. Bill, was that you? Certainly not, Corky. Then where did it come from? <gasps> Bill, over there! It was a tuber rose. Make that all the tuber roses, Corky. What a racket! I can't hear myself think. What can we do? We better see Tricky and fast. Perfect. Now, time for my troll now. Tricky! Tricky, <laughs> Tricky where are you? Up here. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> You gave me a real fright, you did. What's going on? It's that tuber rose we took home. It's become lots of tuber roses. They've taken over the whole garden. And they're making the biggest racket you've ever heard. I've never heard of tuber roses growing so quickly in Fairyland. How can we stop them, Tricky? Hmm. Snooge the Snorfant. He's the one to talk to. Right. Snooge the Snorfant it is. <laughs> Tricky said that Snooge lives down near the creek. Look, Corky, who could that be? Could that be Snooge the Snorfant? Let's watch and see. Mm, tasty. Mm, very tasty. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Are you Snooge the Snorfant? That's me. Could you help us with a problem? 
We've got too many tuberoses growing around our house. They're everywhere. That sounds like a tasty problem to me. Would you come home and eat some of them for us? You can have as many as you like. I'll be in that. Just show me the way. Follow us, Snooge. There they are, Snooge. And they're noisier than ever. And tasty too. Have as many as you like. Get stuck in. Nice and peaceful at last. Ooh, they were delicious, they were. Thanks so much, Snooge. My pleasure. Ooh. What's wrong, Snooge? Oh, I think I might have eaten a bit too quickly. <laughs> I'll have a nice little nap. That should fix things. Nice little nap. That's for me. We'll see you after your nap, Snooge. Paint me pink! Now I know why Snorfants are called Snorfants. That's the biggest snore ever. Look, Bill! Goodness me! If Snooze doesn't stop, he'll shake the house down. What'll we do? Snooge, wake up, please. Please wake up, Snooge. to see Tricky again. Come on, Corky. Tricky! <laughs> Sorry, Tricky, but we've got a new problem. It's Snooge. He's snoring so loudly that the ground shakes. It shakes so much that our home might fall apart. And we don't know how to wake him. Hmm. Bouncy coots. Bouncy coots? A snorfan can never sleep when a bouncy coot's nearby. Where do we find a bouncy coot? My friend Boppy the bouncy coot lives in this cave. Is Boppy here, Tricky? I'm not sure. I can see someone. Look! That's got to be Boppy. Why is he called a bouncy coot? I know why. He's bouncing. Hey, Boppy, meet my friends, Bill and Corky. Hello. Good morning. Hello, Boppy. They've got some snooge trouble. Snooge? He's not snoring loudly again. He couldn't snore any louder, Boppy. Would you be able to wake him for us? I'll have a very good try. <laughs> oh, this is worse than I thought. What can you do, Boppy? I'll do what bouncy coots do best. Bounce! <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, hello, Boppy. What's the matter? You're snoring, Snooge. That's what's the matter. My snoring? They're not used to your snoring here. You should go home to Fairyland and nap. But I like napping here. Sorry, Snooge. If you keep napping, I'll keep bouncing. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, my God. Great work, Boppy. Is there anything we could do for you? Do you know, this is the first time I've been to your world. Could I stay for a while? You certainly could. We'll be happy to have you. We have plenty of room. You can stay as long as you like. Wonderful. My Oh, thank you, Bill. Thank you, Corky. I'm going to like it here. Corky, do you think Boppy ever stops bouncing? He must stop bouncing sometime. Maybe he stops bouncing when he has a nap. Nap? Did someone say nap? <sighs> now that's a good idea. <sighs> I'm with you, Boppy. Oh, it's been a long morning. I'll oh, see you oh, later. Can you believe it, Bill? Poppy's napping but still bouncing. Bouncer coots never stop bouncing. And we'll never be able to sleep with all that bouncing. It's as bad as Snooge snoring. What can we do, Bill? There's only one thing we can do, Corky. Back, Back to, to Tricky, Tricky again. again. Tricky! 
<laughs> Tricky, we need your help again. It's Boppy. He never stops bouncing. And we'll never be able to sleep. Mm, this is a hard one. Nobody has ever stopped a bouncy coot from bouncing. So what can we do? I'm stumped, Bill. There's no answer to this problem. Oh, dear. This is terrible. Help! Corky! Hello, Hi, Dandy. Dandy. What's the matter? It's not like you to be sad. We've got a big problem, Dandy. A bouncing problem? Boppy the bouncer coot is in our home and he never stops bouncing. <laughs> is that all? That's easy to fix. Really? Come with me and I'll show you. What? That sounds like a tuberose. I don't like tuberoses. Dandy? What are you doing? Sorry, Bobby. I have to practice my tuba. I can't sleep with all that noise. This is impossible. I'm going home to my cave. Are you sure you won't stay, Boppy? With that awful racket? Sorry, but I'm off. Bye, Bye Boppy. You're a champion, Dandy. <laughs> I think we've all learned a lesson today. Fairyland things should stay where they belong. In Fairyland. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. <laughs>